Mongoose Jake out here on my back porch to do another unboxing of the new blaster. This is the Adventure Force Thermal Tracker, of course, made by Busby. And this one was actually sent to me by Busby for review. Now, this is a exclusive product available through, through Walmart. And it's a $25 package. And for that, you get the blaster, 10 of the long distance darts, one of the thermal scopes, a 10 round magazine, and one of the rail adapters. This, of course, allows you to convert uh, the rail to Nerf or vice versa. Now, I've already undone the blaster, haven't removed anything, so we're gonna get to see it, but it save a little time. What the blaster is, is magazine fed, and it's bolt action. So a little bit unusual for a magazine fed blaster, but it is bolt action. With what looks like a fairly substantial grip. Hmm, it's actually pretty nice. I don't know why they did such a chunky trigger guard. They could have went a little slimmer there and that would have gave you more room, but even as is, that's not bad. And the stock is short, but check this out. Hit the button and it's extendable. We're gonna see. Okay, it's just collapsed or fully extended. That's nice. And it has what looks like the pump grip off of the Zenith or the Barbarian mounted as a foregrip, which is not a bad idea. If you're primed and loaded and ready to go, you, you're gonna want somewhere to put your hand. So that's not bad. Okay, so first impressions are it's fairly ergonomic and it's sizable. That's, that's nice. Now, this is just 100% personal taste. I would love to have seen this be in white with all the accenting. This bright green, I mean, you, you know the green, it's the Adventure Force green. If this was white, man, that would really stand out. For that dark gray, a little bit of blue, some orange. Okay, I, I'm gonna have to end up painting this one. But, I've actually already went and put the batteries in this. Okay, there we go. There it is. Okay. Oh. Okay. There we go. There's the thermal sight. There it is. Okay, it makes a really nice reflex sight as well. But let's toss that on the rail. Nice firm grip. That actually works really well. Let's see, can we get it to plop off? No, okay. <laughs> Just testing it. I'm gonna try to see if we can get that to come off there. Now, of course, it comes with a 10 round Busby magazine. Fits in there just fine. Locks in. No problems. I wanna try something. A worker, 22 round. No problem. Okay, one other thing that has caused has caused issue for some Busby blasters in the past. That is a 25 round Nerf drum. No problems whatsoever. Fantastic. Hey, that actually looks good. That looks really good. Okay. Let me get some let me get some darts in this thing, load it up and I'm gonna test fire it. There's the chronograph test session showing that the uh, thermal tracker is basically hitting in the middle upper 70s to low 80s as is the case with most every stock busby blaster currently made that is magazine fed and spring powered 
it is averaging right around 80-ish with the included long distance darts. If you fire Busby Precise Pros, you expect that FPS to go up slightly as well as your accuracy and consistency. So again, Busby has a good performer on their hands and hopefully this helps out make you a little more informed on the stock performance of the blaster. In the interest of being thorough, I wanted to add this to my unboxing and show just exactly the difference in the folding stock with or collapsible stock when it is in its short position compared to its lengthened position. This is basically comfortable for an adult and this, while cramped for me as a 5'10 adult, would be probably about right for a kid. So it is two position, you cannot put it in the middle, if you do it will just collapse. However I will note this, this thing will not collapse unless you intentionally hit the button. Hit the button, it's very easy, anyone can do this and I see zero structural issues. I mean, I am not a weak guy by any way, shape, or form. And without actually breaking it, this thing is solid. So that is an awesome stock. I just want to add that in. I'll splice it in with the uh, magic of editing. So we want to show that off and show just how solid and good that, that stock really is. Okay. My back porch unboxing and initial reviews normally just give you a hint at what I think and I'm going to do a long-term review later. My first impressions are extremely positive. It has one of the better ergonomics overall for Busby blasters that I've tried. A lot of times the grips are hit or miss with Busby. This one's pretty comfortable. I think it's comfortable enough for my hand without being too big or oversized to where the intended audience, which is anywhere from an eight year old up, I don't think anybody in that range is gonna find this to be an issue. The stock collapses to be short enough for somebody who's small, and it extends out far enough for somebody like myself, who's 5'10 and an adult, that when it's extended, which is only one button on this side, on the left hand side of the blaster, that is actually large enough of a distance between grip to the butt of the stock that I'm comfortable. Bolt action, as always, Busby's the leader of bolt action. In, in true bolt action, this smooth works very easily. Uh, I wish they would. I wish they would do a metal uh, mount for the bolt. That'd be really nice. But everything is, works. It accepts other magazines. It has the standard Busby performance. You get the thermal sight. You get the 10 darts. And as with the Thermal Hunter, you don't get extra darts. You get enough to fill it. But you get the thermal sight, which itself is really neat. This definitely is going to be something I'm going to recommend. At my first glance, initial review, is that it, everything, I don't have anything to pick at. Everything is positive. So, while my camera's focusing in and out, the thermal tracker is going to get a very, very positive initial opinion from me. So, as of now, I will put it through my normal testing. And at some point, I'm going to actually do a video on my testing procedure. This thing will get used and used and used and used, and then I will publish a long-term review later. But as of now, this thing looks pretty good. It feels good. It works good. So, overall, it's good. <laughs> There's not much more to say, this, but this is Mungus Jake with my unboxing and initial review of the Thermal Tracker made by Busby and sold under the Adventure Force label exclusively at Walmart for retail price of just under $25. Hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.